I love filming vlogs and then that happens. If you're new to following me, let me introduce myself. I'm Sarah. I have two Siamese cats. I'm a CrossFitter. I'm an intermittent faster. I train fasted and eat 2,000 calories a day. Mm. Goals, goals, goals. Keep me busy. Middle splits, that's one of my goals. Here you see me working on my air squat in my bottom position, and you can see I'm much more active. This has been a five-month process, and it's the hardest thing I've ever had to learn is how to properly execute an air squat. Now I've recently started learning how to do cleans, and you can see there are definitely some good things going on here. However, notice that I keep jumping backwards. Now keep watching the vlog because my coach Gus is going to be working with me. He will explain why this was happening and he's going to show me how to fix it. And here you see me working on my front squats. I mean this serves as the base for the catch position in the clean and it's great for strengthening the quads and your core. Thanksgiving dinner courtesy of mommy. Turn up and carrots and let us turn up and pee. Brussels Apples. sprouts because they're Granny's favorite. Turkey? Turkey, the turkey the only white meat. Mashed potatoes. Ooh, baked tomatoes. I love those. Broccoli, cauliflower, stuffing. Peel you apart buns yeah, in the right. oven. Table with a view. Oh, this is my plate. And I'm going to eat it all. All right, training time. So you already know that I vowed to do more bridges because I hate them. Oh, Bean. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of constantly going back to the basics and learning how to do your basics better. You see me doing a lot of scapular retractions, a lot of accessory work, core work. You can see I'm doing plank holds, hollow body holds. Oh, Coco. <laughs> All right. Look at how much better my strict pull-ups are this week compared to previous weeks. Just because I've been working on the accessory work and the banded pull-ups. And here's my chin up. And again, major improvements here. I'm very pleased with this. Again, my hashtag is do it well. And that's my goal, to do things well. And it's an odyssey. So here you can see, again, I'm working with the bands. And I recommend you work with the bands because see how you can hold it at the top and then slowly lower. And that's how you will eventually nail your pull-ups. So I'm going to do deadlifts. So I like to just warm myself up with some banded good mornings. And I warmed up with some lighter weights. And here you see me doing 185 pounds. And then guess what? That's 200 pounds. It doesn't look pretty. It doesn't feel pretty. <laughs> but I did it. Guess who's in the 200 club now? I just deadlifted 200 pounds. Perfect dance from Sarah. They look nice. Ta-da! Ta-da! Bean's gonna jump up and get the tag. Oh. Fish oil. Amino X Edge in all three flavors. Set the six edge protein powder in vanilla and sugar cookie. Ta da! One goes out, one goes in. Now they're both in. I hate it when I forget about my laundry in the machine all day and it's soaking wet in there. Oh my goodness, what's worse? I'm not happy about this at all. He's nursing. See that? Back at the vet. Today is vaccine day. Finally, Bean's using the hammock. Look, if I'm going to spend money on something for the cats and they don't use it, it pisses me off. So the fact that he uses the crap I buy him. Okay, look at my toilet paper. Aha, uh -huh. guilty. Once a month, I like to disinfect all of my gym equipment clean underneath of it. So I'm training to be a badass, and I'm doing strict press, and that's 75 pounds, and Bean is climbing the wall, and now I'm working on push press. And what this is about is powerful hip extension. And that's something I'm really working on because I know that's the key to athletic performance. I'm also working really hard on my core strength for the same reason. Then I did 50 double unders and I repeated this little program through five times and I just sped that up because otherwise it's boring to watch 50 of them. I got my delivery in the mail. Oh look, <laughs> Reebok.
really like my new Reebok tank top. You can see it has the air-conditioned sides and it matches my Reebok tights. It's also asymmetrical, but hey, so am I. Come in! I'm videoing my air squats. Dun, 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 oh. dun. It's a nice squat. Keep pressing on. That's it. Good, but your pelvis is starting to tilt back a little bit, so your rib cage is opening up. Okay, yeah. Oh. oh my god. Yeah? So think about pulling your belly button and your sternum towards each other, right? I need a shower. Can you see that? I did push press and strict press yesterday, and Gus will explain why. So your elbows are too low. So it's hitting your collarbone rather than deltoid. Alright, so you want to keep your elbows nice and high as you bring the bar down. But it sits across your shoulders instead of crashing down. Okay, so today's lesson was... Trying to refine hip extension. <sighs> and sequencing hip extension to the rest of the clues. Alright, so you want to kind of get under it a little more. Better. Right, but the bar was a little bit high. And it kind of crashed out of your shoulders, right? So you want to actively pull it into the shoulders a little bit more. The only thing I'm going to think about, again, is jumping hard into full yep. extension. That's yep. the only thing I'm going to put in my brain right now. Mm -hmm. And then just drop. Okay. Like pull the bar into your shoulders and drop. There, right there. My goal is to look at that buoy so that I'll stop whipping my head back. Yes. Oh, and the front squat. I've also realized that at the beginning of the sessions, I can get really overwhelmed and frustrated and feel like I'm never going to figure it out. Good. Better, right? Yeah. Oh, look at that yawn! I'm trying to learn clean, so I'm having a little moment. You know, it's not exactly something you learn in a week. Uh, it's a lot to think about in two seconds. You know what this reminds me of? Dental school. You know, learning how to cut a class two prep or do a root canal. So many steps involved and it takes a long time to learn it. Just freaking do it. And do it again and do it again and do it again. After Gus left, I practiced them and you can see I'm not jumping backwards anymore. Yes, so much better. So you may have noticed the cats behind me and they're sound asleep in their upside down pumpkin. And yes, it has to be upside down. Now, Gus wanted me to work on my dumbbell snatches and it was very humbling doing this. I, wow, it looks very innocuous, but it's not. I tried the eight pounds and I had to go back down to five pounds and I understand the importance of mechanics, consistency, and then intensity. And then I worked on my pistol squats to the bench with Bean. Yes, I'm holding Bean. Can you see him? This has to be my favorite segment in the whole video. I love them. <laughs> so it looks like mom and dad are ready for Halloween with all their Halloween size candy. Ooh, I like those, the Hershey's drops. And I just left my parents' condo, and there's a 100% chance that I may have eaten some chocolate. And meatballs, too. I had meatballs, and they were really good. He's attacking my custom-made Reebok Nano 6s. That's a big no. I was pretty sore from the dumbbell snatches from the day before, so today was an accessory day for me. So you saw me doing the bench step-ups. I also do it with the stool using the kettlebells and this also works my grip strength and you can see I'm doing my suitcase deadlift and my ab mat setups but watch bean under the stool. Oh, oh, e. <laughs> and of course my split squats and notice I get my knee right down to the pad. What's happening in the pumpkin there? Do you see that? Can you see it wiggling? Who's in there? Fast breaking meal ready. I've got my Greek yogurt with this strawberry synthesis edge. I've got my BSN protein bar. I have two hard boiled eggs with Brock slaw and bruschetta. Gala apple, and I'm drinking the fruit punch amino X, not caffeinated because it's late and I want to be able to fall asleep. Does everybody have to be involved in my vlog? Cat climbing my leg. So excited. This is my me time, which I rarely take, and I'm watching the Froning documentary. Canadians, hello, chance for you. 
So if it's too cold outside to wear bare legs, but you want to wear shorts, all you do is you wear tights underneath. And if people make fun of you, well, then you can just tell them to just tell them you have a contagious rash all up and down your legs. And then, of course, gently touch their leg with your leg. I don't know how I did it. Honestly, my legs at the end, I wasn't sure they were even moving anymore. And I was afraid I was going to fly off the treadmill. I had to lie down afterwards and try not to barf. I don't think I've ever pushed myself this hard before in my life. So here's my fitness graph for running. And here's my new record, 10 miles an hour, 90 seconds. Look who's getting faster across broad time. My goal is to become a better runner and we all have to start somewhere. And you can see that if you put your mind to something and you have a methodical approach, you can get fitter. I'm getting faster. Remember, we're all snowflakes. We all have our own unique journey. So don't feel badly where you start because we all have to start somewhere. And you can see that even I struggled in the beginning and I'm still struggling. It's a journey. Whoa, that's not allowed. That's not allowed. No, oh no, oh no, not leather. Listen up, Spider-Man, get down. Training again to be a badass. I'm doing push jerk here and my wall walks as well as my shoulder taps. Oh look, I actually slapped my side. That's a new thing for me I'm working on. I want to have stronger shoulders that can really support my body weight because I have a fantasy goal to someday be able to do a back handspring. And I'm working on really good form with my push-ups and I'm also really focused on improving my tricep strength because I want to be able to do muscle ups at some point down the road. Today's outfit is brought to us by Reebok Tights, Lululemon Top, and the socks are Lululemon. Training to be a badass. Notice I never say, oh, I'm doing this exercise to make my booty grow bigger. I couldn't care less. I am doing this exercise because it serves a purpose. It's going to help me reach my performance goals. Notice that I spend a lot of time working on the basics. And that's because I recognize the potency of the fundamentals. I know that I'm going to advance faster if I recommit to the basics. I'm working on my overhead squats and I'm doing it with my two pound PVC pipe against the wall. And this is extremely challenging. You have to be flexible. You have to have incredible core strength, posterior chain strength. That two pound PVC pipe feels like a million pounds. They always say that overhead squats are the punisher. They let you know where all of your weaknesses lie. Here you see me using 35 pounds, and this is a new record for me. I'm actively pushing up into that barbell. Hi, Coco. This is very challenging for me, and today somebody on Instagram insulted me, saying, you always use light weights. You're not going to make progress. I didn't respond to this person, but from experience, I know that whenever I rush to advancement, I end up retarding my fitness. I agree with my coach. It's important to start humble. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm in my Team SS VIP group and I'm thrilled that Heather is working on her one mile run. And she says her fastest is eight minutes and 12 seconds and her goal is eight minutes and she's gonna get there. This is fabulous. My girls are now focusing on performance instead of just counting calories on the elliptical. This gets me excited. Dr. Malika, PhD, is working on improving her air squats, which is probably one of the hardest things to learn, is how to properly execute an air squat. And she is looking so much better. You can see she's looking more like a lightning bolt. Love it. Diane, who's in her 60s, by the way. Yep, performance-based goals. She is working on her handstands. This is incredible. You can see her lats from the front. And big props to Michelle. After just two weeks of doing the fat loss fast system, she was able to slip into a pair of jeans she hasn't worn in years. Look at her, she is stunning. And here's Jody. She's been on Team SS for years and I'm loving her Reebok outfit. In fact, I had to buy it too. And look at her arms, she's jacked. Ooh, and Angie Grant made my mom's chili recipe. And you can get the chili recipe on my website, drsarahsolomon.com in the recipe section. Angie also won my giveaway this week and you can enter my giveaways right on the homepage of drsarahsolomon.com. I'm always giving away a BSN product, so check it out. Hey, you never know. So I'm teaching a lecture in California this weekend for FMI and it's called 
authenticity in a sea of white noise. I'm definitely the right person to be teaching this lecture because once upon a time, I was not authentic. Alanis Morissette summed it up the best. Once I know who I'm not, then I'll know who I am. I made those, by the way. I'm giving you a sneak peek of one of the slides in my lecture, Authentic Charm, being true to yourself in a way that captivates others. No, 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 no. I want to thank you for following my journey and you know this year I really feel that I've come into my own. I know what my goals are and I just feel very confident and I feel very empowered and I feel like I'm in a position where I can positively influence other people. Now I don't want to judge the fitness industry but if you follow me you know that's where I got my start. I was a pro fitness model and you know, looking back, if I knew then what I know now, I never, ever would have competed. Whoa. I don't think it's healthy for everything you do to revolve around something so ephemeral, your appearance. It's just not, you know, something that anybody can maintain. We're inevitably all aging. So I'm almost 40 years old and I look back now on all of the photos I did, the ones of me on stage, all the professional photos I did, and it's just, it's not me and it never was me. It was me trying to live up to the industry ideal of what a fit model should be. Nobody could have told me back then not to do that. I had to have that experience and figure it out for myself. It created very unhealthy relationships with food for me and it made me incredibly insecure and narcissistic. I was constantly trying to create this uber online avatar for myself. And nowadays, if you follow anybody in the fitness industry on Instagram or social media, that's all you see are their uber assets in your face. And the reality is most of these assets aren't even real. They've been implanted by a plastic surgeon. But again, I don't want to judge because there's a lot of really awesome people in the fitness industry who are doing really awesome things for a lot of people. You know, there's going to be, for example, really good bodybuilders out there and really crappy ones. There's going to be really good crossfitters out there and really crappy ones. It's like there's lots of good dentists out there and there's crappy ones out there too. At the end of the day, you just have to know what's good for you and what's not good for you. And I can tell you straight up, that being portrayed as a fitness model or being all about aesthetics, that ain't my jam anymore. I am excited that you are joining me on my new journey, which is all about performance over aesthetics. And the irony is that now that I'm focused on my performance goals, my aesthetics are better than ever. And I'm eating the most I've ever eaten in my life. I'm now eating 2000 calories a day. You know, I didn't want to talk about this, but I feel like you need to know why I left. And I also think that it's unfair for me to say that I had only negative experiences because that's not true. I had a whole lot of great experiences throughout the years being in the fitness model industry. So I just knew that for me, I was going down a different path and it was part of my evolution. And now I'm very content with what I'm doing today with CrossFit. And of course you have to leave me your comments, especially your hate comments. I love the hate comments. They're my favorite. And be sure to hit the dislike button. I like it when you do that. And oh, and be sure to subscribe so that way, you know, you can hate on me again next week.